Wait a second. No pictures, no video, yes. right? No pictures, no video. Over here. Okay, I don't even like that mirror being right there, but that's okay. We can talk. No. We can, we can move um, it. No, because I'm looking at you, right? Okay. okay, go ahead. Imagine one of you girls, um, you're asleep and you wake up the next morning and you have a body of a male. You're a woman, but you have a body of a male. How would you feel? You live like that every single day. Do you know how uh, fucked up that is and what that does to you? It's like you constantly feel like you're jumping out of your skin. In my case, you know, feeling and being female, but having the body of a male. You know, imagine if, if you woke up like that, what would you do? How would you feel? Like you're being ripped apart. How could you like that? How could you deal with that? When you live every day like that, every day, and it can't be fixed, and you try really hard. You try really hard to make it right, and you can't get there. Nothing's right, nothing works. You're never satisfied, because you, you can't get there. It was the end of, end of March of 2013. I remember, um, what did I do? I just, I don't know, put on a mini skirt and walked out of the house and said, fuck it. <laughs> I did it. And the whole time I'm walking up the street and I'm getting on the bus and I'm like, fuck you and fuck everybody. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just being me because I'm sick of being worried about what everybody else thinks and living for everybody else. I said, what did you all ever do for me? Nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was just, I had this angry Fuck you attitude, I'm doing what I want to do, how I want to do it, and I don't give a shit what you think. It's very empowering, it really is. I'm scared to walk around here at night, you know? People are crazy. I live here, in this area. Sometimes I, I, I get nervous, um, very self-conscious, wondering what people are, are thinking, wonder if, if anybody's gonna do anything to me. You know, it's that it's that fear. You don't know what's going to happen. It's not just it's dangerous for everybody here. It's just for for people that are different. It can be even harder. You know, I went to the 16th Street Mall for the first time like uh, a week ago. I felt pretty good there. You know, just in class of people. It was a, it was a, um, it was during the day, and you had business people walking around and taking lunches and and, and all. I felt, I felt pretty good there, I felt safe. And it's strange because I watch people and most people don't pay any attention to me. At least not that I can see. If they're talking behind my back or, or something, I don't, well, I don't know about it. And if I don't know about it, fine. Every once in a while, I'll catch a little smile or a little stare and I have my sunglasses on and I watch and I look. People just walk by, they seem oblivious to the fact that I'm even there. And that makes it a little easier. Comes to mind, I think, probably one of the nicest compliments I did ever hear one. This older woman told me that I look like her daughter. I guess I was having a good day. In the first six months that I came out, I had maybe a dozen incidences where I was treated very uh, rudely, mean, had some uh, nasty shit, disrespectful shit said to me. After that, um, for some reason, and I don't really know why, and maybe I came into my own a little bit, but things got better. It's hard not to let those things bother you because they really cut right to the bone. You know, they really do. You try to shake it off, but you know, the, the remnants, the effects of it last far after. I remember a lot of the things that people said to me and it doesn't go away, it stays there. I don't think most people have any clue, have any idea. They'll think it's a be a life choice or something it's it's not 
Before I, I, I came out, I didn't feel right. I, I, I can't, um, I can't cope. I can't, um, I can't live with my self. It's like you're living a lie. It, it, it's, um, it was horrible. But here's the thing. I thought when I came out that all my problems would go away. They did not. I hate being me. I hate this shit. I wish I could say that I was happy and I loved myself and everything was just peachy because I'm out and everything's okay. No. Put on makeup and to get ready and do your hair and to do whatever you need to do to get ready to be able to walk outside. For me, it takes extremely long time because I'm so self-critical. I mean, sometimes it's gone four hours of obsessing and nitpicking and, and not liking what I'm seeing and nothing's working right. A lot of times when I'm walking around, I just, I don't know. I, I, uh, you know, I struggle to say this, but I understand why so many transgenders commit suicide. I really do. Through my life, it's all the same. I feel just as angry and upset and miserable. Just, it's gut-wrenching grief and pain. And most of the time, I pray to God I don't wake up in the fucking morning. I knew I was a girl from like uh, six. I remember looking in the mirror in my house and, and I'm seeing uh, what I know to be a boy. And yet inside, I do not feel like that something's wrong here. And I knew. And it's basically been a, a, a mind fuck ever since that got progressively worse when I hit puberty the anger and the acting out really started and things progressively got worse from there. I wish that I could go back and just be born right to be born a girl and live my life like a girl and grow into womanhood and maybe be successful or, or be a mother and have a family and maybe raise a child or two or be some successful business or something. Where I am now, oh God, to win the, the lotto so I can get all the money to do all the shit that I need to do. For some people it's very attainable. For people who don't have money or are broken and have a lot of baggage, it's very difficult. Oh God, to, uh, to not, to not, um, to not want to die every day, to not have those thoughts, you know, they're very troubling. I'm afraid that I'll end up, you know, dying before I ever get a chance to share my life and to make a contribution and to be productive and to give back. That I'm never going to get to where I need to be or to where I want to be. That I'm never going to be satisfied. That I'm going to end up killing myself before I have a chance to give you know, to us, because I know I do. I know I have something to give. I mean, I know it took me all these years, but I mean, finally having the courage, because I always worried about what everybody thought my entire life, and I kept everything in, and I would, would never tell anybody. I would never share it. Of course, a lot of people could guess, and a lot of people knew, but when I finally took that first step, I'm actually proud of myself for that. What do I love myself for? Ah, oh, God. I don't know. I've done a lot of horrible things in my life. It's very hard to feel good about yourself and love yourself. I've been working on it. Sometimes it seems like it gets a little better. 
but most of the time, no. So I can't say that there's anything. My name is Jessica Frosch. Um, I was born Jeffrey, but I hate hearing that. Here, it's like nails on a chalkboard. It's like hearing sir and him and all that shit. Can't stand it. It should be she or her or miss or ma'am. That's how I expect to be addressed.